Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I have an interesting product which is on the market under the name Kakadu Blockout Cot Tent One Person. So the brand is Kakadu, it is from Australia, but they have a branch in the United States as well. And the product itself is Blockout Cot Tent One Person. If you are not familiar with this terminology, Cot Tent or Tent Cot, this means that you have a sleeping platform elevated from the ground and a tent attached to it. In this particular case, there are two main pieces. So one is shown here. All that you see here is one piece. The frame with everything that, everything that you see and this inner tent. The two poles that you see here are telescopic so you extend them when you want to use this sleeping shutter <clears throat> and then there are pop-out buttons here that will click and uh, the poles will be locked in place when it is time to go you easily cl close this and then fold and store in its included carry bag so this is one the main part of the system but there is also a full coverage fly which you can see see here in this top picture in my post and the the fly has three separate flaps with zippers that you can roll up and then have views around these flaps are actually matched with the uh, inner mesh doors on the inner tent where you again have a zippered uh, design so these inner mesh doors can also be rolled up and fixed above if you don't want uh, to use them during the day for example so there are three access points here i would say for a solo shelter it's far too many you can do with one of course but the point is that when you have so many openings you can have an excellent ventilation and also use around to show you a few more features here so this is the shelter when it is when the fly is fully closed and you see you are you have a full protection from the elements all flaps here are closed but you can of course keep one of them open in this picture you can see the flap on the narrow side of the shelter which is open and then you create an awning so the poles for this are included but i stress that you can do this on any of the three sides so you can have awning on wherever you want <coughs> it depends on uh, the wind direction, sun position, and of course uh, privacy. Uh, the tent has storage features inside. There are several, actually four, wall pockets here on the two sides inside. So you can keep all your small items close at hand. And uh, when it is closed, as you see, uh, the fly doesn't go all the way to the ground, but still uh, it is um, like the area underneath the, the cot is covered so you can keep some of your stuff underneath and uh, use this space for storage regarding the materials uh, here you see all the elements that are included so this is the inner tent with the frame and these are dimensioned uh, two poles for the awning here is the fly and then you have also a full set of uh, stakes and uh, guy rope, uh, ropes and you also uh, the carry bag here shown. The frame is uh, steel as far as I understand and it is powder coated while the fabric is uh, uh, something really special. This is essentially polyester and <coughs> they call it UV tech polyester and the important uh, fact here is that it is uh, uh, with a coating that makes it uh, dark rest 
and this is behind the, the phrase "bok out" in the official name of this content. So they claim that when it is fully closed, it blocks 95% of the uh, daylight, so you can sleep longer in the morning. And they also claim that with uh, this coating, uh, the heat inside is reduced, <coughs> so you can have 20 degrees uh, difference, which is simply amazing. Uh, I have many contents presented here in the site and uh, the site is uh, quite old already and I have never seen a cot tent or tent cot which is a dark rest. So right now this is the only example of this type on the market. The official waterproof rating is huge, 3000 millimeters. everything is uh, taped, I mean the seams, so you have full protection from the elements. The inner tent has um, uh, fine mesh and it is on uh, two or three sides actually and also above so you have full protection from flying insects. Regarding the capacity I would say it is quite typical for hot tents of this type it's 330 pounds or 150 kilograms so for most users this will be <clears throat> perfectly enough. The bed is long and moderately wide. These are the dimensions as you see. So almost 2 meters length, 79 centimeters width. But if this is not enough, there is uh, yet another uh, similar uh, cot tent on the market which is Austin the Bunker Pro. And I will show you the dimensions of this structure. It is 210 uh, centimeters long and 90 centimeters wide. So just to know that you can have a larger uh, option if you need. But of course, uh, with, with such a larger item, you have more weight. Uh, anyway, uh, the peak height is uh, typical for such a design. So you don't have really uh, option to sit inside. You see it's quite low. You realize this from the picture. And regarding the weight, <coughs> it's heavy, 13.8 kilograms. Um, but again, if you compare with this Ostend, it is 70 kilograms, but the materials in Ostend is different. This is uh, polycotton and here you have polyester. More important is the packed size, so the numbers are shown here, you see 103 centimeters, a bit long, but only 22 centimeters diameter, so it's an elongated tube, of course you cannot transport this on a motorbike or bicycle, so you need a car, and in this case, of course, the weight is not so important. So this is a car camping item, you wouldn't want to carry it anywhere. My rating for this uh, content is quite high. I use the same rating criteria for all of them here in the side so you can easily compare. As you see the weight, the rating for weight is uh, the lowest but still the overall rating is quite high. So my only objection here is that it is heavy but the pack size is really compact. Uh, the bed size is good. You have full protection and this is uh, dark rest design, as I mentioned, uh, currently unique on the market, and it is very easy to use. Right now, they uh, they sell it all at, uh, you, you can find it at Backcountry uh, site, and uh, yeah, there is a branch of Kakadu in the United States as well. So this is uh, all I wanted to say here. Please uh, subscribe to my channel. And give me a like if you find this presentation useful and you can come uh, here to my site. There is a link below the video so you can read this text in detail.